Well, good morning and uh, welcome to Regenerative Cannabis Live. My name is Patrick McCartan uh, and I'm delighted to welcome you here to this event here at the United Nations. This is the first event that's uh, ever happened here in this space um, and I want to welcome you all. I know you've traveled from all over the world from many, many different walks of life from, from many governments. We've got ambassadors, we've got cannabis, Fortune 500 companies, civil society, entertainments, media, finance. We've got a great ecosystem of the room here that are committed to driving the industry in a, in a sustainable and, and meaningful way. So I'd like to um, welcome you all again. Um, uh, the live stream is, uh, I'm not sure, we're sure where the live stream is, over, over here. Uh, we've also got thousands of people live streaming in from all over the world, so we'd like to welcome you too. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of great interest uh, and appetite for what we're doing here and what we're doing collectively around cannabis and the potential for cannabis and hemp to drive a sustainable future. Um, first of all, I want to thank the United Nations for embracing this conversation, for opening up their doors, for welcoming us here today. Um, again, this is very much a milestone moment for the cannabis industry. Uh, and we come before, after many people had to put a huge amount of effort into getting the industry to as far as it, it's been now. Um, also want to thank our partners uh, that have supported us from day one, the great folks at Hawthorne, Media Sorcery, Backbone, New Frontier Data, and Emex being some of the great, great organizations that are leading the way uh, in the cannabis industry. Uh, six years ago when I left the corporate sustainability world, I had a vision to align the cannabis industry and hemp, of course, to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. I didn't realize just how challenging the journey would be. Uh, challenging, incredibly difficult, but incredibly rewarding and gratifying at the same time. Um, and two and a half years ago, when Jeff and myself launched Regenibus, Jeff Trotter, uh, co-founder and CGO of, of Regenibus, um, we approached the UN about the possibility of hosting an event like this and framing it in a way that's aligned with the Sustainable Development Goals. Two and a half years later, obviously the pandemic uh, struck. We are here today for this moment. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, and it's a new departure, as a, a great Irishman, Michael Davitt, mentioned in the, 80, in the 1800s. So um, we're... The, the micro challenges that we've experienced along the way, all of us in this industry, really reflect the, the macro challenges that we face as a humanity on this planet, from environmental challenges, climate change, the destruction of plastics and packaging on this, on this world, um, the social challenge that we've, we've caused, the social injustices. Um, we've not done a very good job. Uh, in addition to that, the economic challenges that we face, we're, you know, we're coming up against some serious headwinds again economically. Um, and the UN Sustainable Development Goal Framework, which you can see uh, to my left here, that's the blueprint for the sustainable future. That's where we're trying to get to in this world. If we look at there, no poverty, good health and well-being, decent work and economic growth, diversity, equity, uh, sustainable cities, and so forth, that's the blueprint. And we have followed that from the corporate world into the cannabis industry. Um, and we believe that cannabis in all of its forms, industrial hemp, hemp, medical cannabis, health and wellness, recreational cannabis, all of it is going to drive the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We've no doubt about that. I think everybody in this room knows that. Um, but we have to create the education for those who don't understand it to not only educate but also to excite them, excite society a bit about the potential for, for cannabis to literally change the world and restore a lot of the injustices that it's caused in the past. Um, even, you know, if we even go over to the, the Fortune 500 companies, of which there are several here today, um, Unilever, Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, 3M, um, many of these companies are already embracing hemp or medical cannabis or cannabinoids in some form or another. You know, BMW with their plastics internal for their, their automobiles. It's already happening. So, so the, the revolution is happening. Um, 
Uh, so today we're going to look at uh, the, how we're going to align these, all of this to the Sustainable Development Goals. And that is the framework, as I mentioned, for the future. The two economic panels are going to look at ESG, Environmental Social Governance, being a business and brand value driver for all companies, not just cannabis companies. And that's the foundation for what we're trying to build in this, in this cannabis and hemp industry and future industries. Um, on the, as I mentioned, education is going to be critical to all of this. Education, education, which is the purpose of this, this event here. Um, and we are going to explore that in the, in the normalization in the first panel, panel one, uh, around normalization and regulation of, of the cannabis industry. We need to help those who are making the decisions around the policy makers, the, the lawmakers, the governments, to really understand the potential of cannabis and hemp for their respective countries. Socially, we're going to look at restorative justice, diversity, equity, inclusiveness, and social equity models that are the foundation for the world that we all want to live in, a fair and, a fair and equitable world. Um, and I don't think anybody here uh, doesn't believe that. It's absolutely critical that we re re rewrite the wrongs of the past. Um, also, we're going to look at, at cannabis, uh, medical cannabis, as a, as a driver for a healthier society. CBD, CBG, CBN, THCV, all of these incredible compounds that have been ostracized or, 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 you know, in the illicit market, and I've only come to the fore recently. These are changing people's lives, from kids with epilepsy to ch folks with incredible issues around health. It's unbelievable what this com these compounds are doing, and we're only getting started. So we need to educate and, and create the, the uh, framework and the foundations for science to be able to explore more of these cannabinoids. It's absolutely essential because it's going to drive good health and well-being particularly. And then the, on the environmental side, we're going to look at um, blockchain technology and innovation as a driver for, regi um, uh, for, for hemp and regenerative agriculture. This is the future, and this is where we all need to be going. And then the final panel, well, well the final uh, environmental panel, will focus on resource efficiency in the cannabis industry. Indoor, outdoor cultivation. It's, it's a critical component of all of this too because we need to grow this magical plant in really sustainable ways that are going to be uh, beneficial for the environment. So again, we're going to align all of this to the Sustainable Development Goals today. Um, and we can't do this w without working together. It's all about collaboration. It's all about partnerships. And if we look at number 17, SDG 17, partnerships. There's great partnerships already happening today. We had a great night last night. Some incredible new partnerships have been built, but we can't do it without each other. And we've got to support each other because in this room, we're all courageous optimists. We're all people that are purpose-driven, that want a better world. Well, some of the best people in the world here. Um, so we've got to make this happen. So this is the first step that we're taking with Regenerative Cannabis Live at the United Nations in New York. We're going to take this on a journey to all of the various different UN locations around the world um, until 2030 and potentially beyond, when hopefully cannabis and hemp is going to be a driver and probably the biggest driver to, to help us reach those goals. And really, at the end of the day, it's not about us. It's about our, our kids. It's about future generations. We've got to leave this world in a better place. And cannabis and hemp in, is the solution. So um, again, I'm really humbled and honored to be here before you and all of these great people this morning and everybody live streaming in. And uh, I just want to take a moment, just a moment of reflection to, for all of us to be grateful. Just take a few seconds to be grateful for our health, our wellness, what we have, our positioning. And, and uh, just take a few seconds just to take a moment of gratitude. So I'm going to introduce you to Jeff Trotter, uh, CGO of, of Regenibus. And uh, Jeff has been instrumental in driving Regenibus and aligning all of this with the SDGs. Jeff is going to be our, our master of ceremonies today. and He'll help to frame a lot of what we're doing here. Uh, and Jeff's one of the best. So again, thank you all so much for coming. And uh, I hope you have a great, great day. Thank you.